All right, so when you are on your dashboard here and you see the little red number one or multiple numbers, that just means how many plugins that you need to update. And here with Elementor, so you don't wanna just update this. You don't wanna just hit update now. That's why you have these warnings, right? It says, please back up before upgrade. So that's what I'm gonna cover right now is how to back up your site before you upgrade. So this is a very easy method. You can see, see down here that I have all in one WordPress migration. If you don't have that, you wanna go ahead and click add new, and you want to search here for WordPress all in one. And this is the icon right here. This is the plugin that you want to load. So you're going to click on install now and activate. Once you do that, you're going to come over here to your and click right on it and you're going to do an export. So this says export to. So we're going to do it very simply. We're going to export it. You can use any of these if you have a Google Drive, any of these one drives, whatever you have. We're just going to do file for today. Very simple. You're going to click on file. It's going to get everything ready and then it's going to give you a little green flashing button. It's going to tell you how big it is, what the name of the file is. You might want to write that down, right? So I'm going to click on it and it's going to ask me, you have chosen to do, what do you want to do with this? I'm going to click on save file. It's going to put it right into my downloads and I'm going to have that. So once you save it, then you can go in, you can back up your site. And then you can check to see if anything technically broke your site or not. So the less plugins you have, the better you are. The less plugins, the less chance. This does tell you actually down here that my oh boy steroids for Elementor is not tested with this version. So you want to check that, make sure you have it, and then you can check your website. If it doesn't work, then what you do is you come back here to the all-in-one, you click on import, if you need to redo your site, you go import from, or you can just drag it, drop it right in here, just like it says, drag and drop, or import, file, and then fi find where you had put the file. All right, that's it for me, Tom Bartholomew. If you have any questions, let me know.